Ramu, the strong male, is particularly interested in the information the dung notice board announces. Ever on the lookout for females, his sense of smell is acute, and once he has identified the owner of an attractive scent, he will track her down. A powerful jet of urine signals that he is definitely one of Kaziranga's dominant males. Tasting the air, he anxiously seeks out the receptive female he picked out at the dung heap. He needs to be first to track her down. It's time to set off in pursuit, literally following his nose. Another male is on the scent trail, intent on the same purpose. They know each other from battles past. There is no need for confrontation. But a third male has turned up, a stranger. He is a more serious contender. Ramu will have to prove himself. The battle starts in earnest. The greater one-horned rhino is the only species of rhino to have retained its incisor teeth. They use them to jab open-mouthed at their opponents. These sharp incisors can inflict serious damage. The horn is almost useless. The battle can go on for hours, a series of threats and withdrawals, as each bull tries to find a chink in the other's armor. The plate-like, loose neck folds are the most important part of a rhino's livery, protecting the soft part of the throat. These fights appear to take place in slow motion, like much of the rhino's life. But the outcome can be fatal. A single wound can easily become infected and leave the mighty beast defenseless. A jungle crow cleans up the wound. It's a miserable wound. He takes some flesh too. Its suffering is obvious. The crow is insistent. He even uses the back of the demoralized giant to clean his beak. Meanwhile, Ramu, the conqueror, has found the receptive female. The mating game is not over. She sets off on a marathon. He must run after her for miles to prove his strength and his worthiness to be the father of her calf. Already exhausted by his battle, he must keep up and also ward off any other males who are attracted by her display. 